Hi, this is Paul from TradingFifth.com, and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday, the 11th of February. Uh, today, I'm going to choose one of the signals from our stock signals membership. In our stock signals membership, we get uh, potential fifth wave trades, both long and short, for weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frame. I'm going to be looking at longs today. So, in our membership area, we click on longs and we look for the 11th for here, and we the members click on the image and download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this today. I've chosen the 60 minute time frame. On Mondays, I like to get some swings in on the 60 minute time frame because I want to going to swing them over the week, get them closed by Friday, uh, usually sometimes Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, so I, I look at this uh, on, on the weekend and prepare in my swing trading um, signal service uh, quite a few of these 60 minutes uh, for for the start of the week. So I've chosen Marriott. This is a six minute time frame. You can look at the bottom of the chart there, you can see the tabs for daily and weekly. But I want the 60 minute time frame. I've chosen Marriott as an example here. So I'm going to use our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and Multi Charts at the moment. Uh, and we're going to set this up very, very simple. So, first of all, the Stock Signals membership have certain filters on there. So one of them is that we've had a wave four pullback into one of our probability pullback zones there. This is part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So as you can see, it's just tipped into the green zone, which is an 85% probability. Go on and go, it's gonna go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones there. And that's around about $119 to the top end of that target zone. The next filter that we use on the Stock Signals membership is our 535 oscillator and this looks at the performance of that wave four and as you can see at this moment in time if i just zoom out a little bit we can see uh, on the oscillator here the highest point in the wave three is here and the pullback on this wave four is between 90 and 140 percent this is brilliant it's a really good performing wave four started to crown as well as we pulled up and closed near the high on friday the next filter is the stochastic now this stochastic here, false breakout bar, the, the yellow bar denotes a really strong bullish trend here over a, quite a number of days on this intraday chart. And then on, on Thursday and Friday, we have the, fault, the stochastic pull back against that false breakout bar. Now the, the idea is with, with this on our indicator suite is highly likely that it wants to return back to that uh, strong bullish uh, momentum on the stochastic there. So really, really, really good sign. I've also included our multiple time frame dot cloud. So this is a 60 minute time frame. The top row of dots are the 60 minute and it refers to our EMA cloud here. It's part of our uh, black box breakout indicator suite. But I just wanted to show you this, that this is what a pullback looks like in our multiple time frame dot cloud. On the hourly is the top row of dots. The next one is two hours four hours and then daily and weekly as you can see overall strong bullish trend on those higher time frames on the on marriott but the, the the pullback looks like this so when it's cyan it pulls back into the cloud on this hourly time frame and then red just below there and as you can see on the two hour it pulled into the ema cloud as well on there and then we start to come back red and cyan and as it goes out the cloud on the six minute will go all green again with a green scare on top denoting strong bullish momentum so let's go through and look about the talk about the entry now so again automated target zone for the uh, for the fifth wave move up here we've pulled back into the green zone now we've just got to look for an entry really so the stop loss is always going to be uh, at this with this type of uh, price on here we're talking about 10 cents below that wave four low so 114.48 is the stop loss now we closed just really close to the high on uh, on friday on marriott so with some good strong bullish momentum into the close we can be reasonably aggressive with this, but I just want to get over the $116 mark. I don't like those whole uh, dollar marks there. So 
My entry is going to be 116.06 for this long on Marriott on the six minute time frame. Stop loss again 114.48 and the, the risk to reward 1 to 1.6, 118.59 as you can see is in the lower half of our target level there. And you know, looking at the bullish momentum of this uh, on the wave three, we could get there in two or three days. So this is why I want to set these up on Mondays. If we get the trigger, it might gap up a little bit, but if we get that trigger going through 116 today, we could be out by Wednesday or Thursday on this one. Uh, we don't want to really carry these over the weekend unless it's really strong. Uh, so the idea is to get the, the swings on the six minute time frame in on a Monday or Tuesday. Uh, if they're not triggered by so Wednesday, we would we'll probably cancel them. Uh, but so far looks good. I've taken this from this signal from our stock signals membership. I've also set it up in our swing trading membership because it's a Monday uh, and I like to put these in on a Monday as well. Uh, so very, very simple. I've used our indicator sweep for think of swim for this potential fifth wave long on Marriott on the six minute time frame. OK, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.